by the late 1950s, when the Class 9 F210s, light number 92212, were being built at Swindon, the writing was already clearly on the wall for steam. But even so, few people realised what a short life the Iron Horse had left. Some of the 9S worked for as little as four years before going for scrap, scandalously short lives. And by 1968, all British Railway's standard gauge steam locomotives had gone. This then is the story of Riddle's superb 9Fs, which were amongst the largest and most powerful steam locomotives ever to run on Britain's railways. At a first glance, locomotives like this may seem to have very little in common with the rocket, but actually it's just a very big and rather sophisticated development of the principles first laid out by George and Robert Stevenson. A long multi-tube boiler, a smoke box with an exhaust that drew the fire, and a simple reciprocating engine. Once they got over the shock, old George and Robert would have been very familiar and quite comfortable with a 9F, as well as being very proud. The Class 9F, the F was for freight, 